This year marks the 40th anniversary of a speech, a great speech that was given by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Uh, his Men Have Forgotten God speech, and it has an incredible sort of uh, anecdotal opening where he tells about, as a young person, the news is spreading across Russia uh, as about the success of the Bolshevik Revolution. And the old people are weeping in the fields, and he's told repeatedly by older people that these great disasters have befallen Russia because men have forgotten God. And I think we're facing a situation in our culture where we have a lot of disasters that are beginning to befall us. We have these, I mean, almost every third day, you know, evidence of a brawl somewhere. Um, we have, so we have violence, we have crime, we have epidemic teen suicide, we've got the fentanyl crisis, we've got um, e epidemic levels of, of anxiety in, in, in the culture. Um, a lot of things in our infrastructure are not working, our political, and uh, we, we have, anyway, you could enumerate, right? And some of them can be directly traced to a loss of belief in God and the moral the moral convictions that go with that. I think certainly the, the crime epidemic can be. I think the loss, I, from my own experience, I'm incredibly sensitive to the, the experience of angst that a lot of young people have. I don't think it's just anxiety about future prospects. A lot of the anxiety of the teen suicide is taking place amongst kids that are coming from very affluent homes. It's more of a metaphysical anxiety. It's a, it's a, it's a quest for meaning that's not being satisfied. And so I, I think that if there is a hope for our country to reverse these trends that so many people find are, are disturbing, it is in the re-embrace of, uh, of our, our belief in God. Our whole system of human rights was based on the idea that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. There was this idea of intrinsic dignity that informed the whole Western tradition. And we had dignity because we had been made in God's image. And that dignity meant that even the, that we had rights that even the state could not take away. That, and so I, I, I think we're at a, a pivotal moment in our culture where there is a lot of pain. There is a, an increasing dysfunction um, in, in society, in cities, in families. And our, our last best and greatest hope is to return to God. And I wrote Return to the God Hypothesis in part because I'm completely persuaded by the evidence and I think it's a great story that's been not told. But now that the book's out, I'm also hoping it will have an effect in opening people's minds and hearts to the reality of God because I do think we can, as the philosophers say, have knowledge of God. There is justification for true beliefs about our Creator, and I think it, it provides, uh, uh, re returning to that theistic foundation for culture and for family life and for personal life, I think provides the, the best hope for all of us.